For I years, like Kevin around. Strebinger has delivered mail to this street. Look like some kind of neighborhood creep peering around. <laughs> to stamp out hunger, he looks for donations. In the beginning, it used to be difficult to spot the bags, but I've been doing this so long. At the sight of every bag or box, he leaps from his truck. You could do without a lot of things in life, but food just isn't one of them. Across the country, post offices spread the word about the food drive. Letter carriers put one of these in every mailbox in the area. Sent directly to houses, people check the mail to find a reminder for the food drive and a bag to put donations in. People are more likely to give when it's a lot easier for them to do so. Strebinger has coordinated the drive for the last five years. It's a way to give back to the community. Uh, you know, the, the need is not, not ever going to go away. People in need of food is something he sees every day. We serve every, every address in the country and, you know, yes, I do good areas, bad areas, the need is huge. Patsy Hammer lives on his mail route. I think it's nice to help your neighbors, and like I said, everybody needs a helping hand sometime or another. Hammer tries to donate every year. Everybody should do what they can. This year, she had another reason to give. Oh, I just think it would be nice. It'd be a change. <laughs> Strebinger he promised to cut off his ponytail of 15 years if they meet the donation goal. I really want to hit 200,000 pounds, and, and if we do it, that the ponytail will go. He says it'll be worth it to feed the hungry. I'm always hungry, and I can't imagine what it would be like not to be able to just go and get something to eat.